Streamside management zones are a critical part of protecting water quality during forestry operations. The streamside management zone, or SMZ, buffers against sediment and nutrients, helps maintain water temperature, provides aquatic habitat, and stabilizes stream banks. Buffers can also provide benefits for wildlife, recreation, and scenic quality. Protecting a streamside management zone means more than just leaving a buffer along a waterway. The SMZ is designed to work with other best management practices. It should be just one part of a comprehensive plan to protect water quality. SMZ recommendations can vary by stream type, slope, and other conditions. The first step is to accurately identify the stream type and plan for proper implementation of the appropriate BMPs. Remember, perennial streams carry water most of the year. They flow at least 90% of the time and have well-defined banks with a firm, sandy, or rocky channel. Intermittent streams flow part of the year, from 20 to 90% of the time. There will often be a fine layer of silt in the stream channel. Ephemeral streams flow in response to precipitation, usually less than 20% of the time. Ephemeral streams may have roots, leaves, and even vegetation in the channel. There are also special situations such as trout waters, braided streams, ditches, canals, gullies, and beaver ponds that have different requirements. Be sure to contact your local BMP forester anytime you have questions about stream identification or how to handle special conditions. The SMZ for perennial and intermittent streams is divided into two parts, the primary zone and the secondary zone. The primary zone is 40 feet wide on each side of the stream, measured from the bank. Trout waters with greater than 5% slope have a primary zone of 80 feet. The secondary zone may vary from 0 to 120 feet, depending on the steepness of the slopes perpendicular to the stream. Ephemeral streams do not have a designated SMZ, but there are other BMPs for their protection. Depending on conditions, you may be able to carefully remove some trees from the SMZ. Along perennial streams, maintain at least 50 square feet of overstory base layer per acre evenly spaced throughout the primary zone. This is to provide sufficient forest cover for shade, maintain bank stability, and protect water quality. If less than 50 square feet of base layer is present within the SMZ, maintain all trees. On intermittent streams, all overstory trees may be removed as long as other vegetation is left to protect the forest floor and stream banks. In all streamside management zones, be sure to fell trees away from the stream to protect banks and keep debris out of the channel. Minimize exposed soil and degradation of stream banks. Keep logging debris out of the stream and remove any tops or limbs dropped into the stream channel. Avoid road construction and skidding except where necessary for stream crossings. Avoid mechanical site prep or machine planting. Keep toxic and hazardous materials such as fuel and hydraulic fluid out of the SMZ and avoid broadcast application of pesticides within the SMZ. The secondary zone starts at the end of the primary SMZ and extends up to an additional 120 feet depending on slope. In the secondary zone, all silvicultural harvest systems may be used, along with site preparation that does not significantly disturb surface soil. Be careful to prevent excessive rutting, avoid exposing more than 15% mineral soil, Avoid road construction except where necessary for stream crossings. And keep log decks and portable sawmills out of the secondary SMZ. Although ephemeral streams are dry most of the year, they can carry pollutants and sediment into larger streams. Minimize soil disturbance and avoid altering the flow of ephemeral streams. It is especially important to avoid skidding in ephemeral areas except at crossings and to avoid emptying road and ditch runoff into ephemeral drains. Look out for breakthrough points where small drainages or terrain can concentrate water flow through the SMZ. It is especially important to avoid soil disturbance in these areas. 
Remember, SMZs are designed to work with BMPs on the rest of the site and that all applicable BMPs for harvesting, roads, and stream crossings are important. Sometimes the conditions don't clearly fit into the categories of perennial, intermittent, and ephemeral. Here are a few examples of situations to be aware of when planning streamside management zones. Man-made ditches and canals can be challenging. In most cases, ditches should be treated as intermittent streams, but there are exceptions. Straightened and relocated streams should be protected based on stream type. Consider the source and duration of water flow and see if it flows into a natural stream. Ponds that hold water most of the year and are connected to natural streams are perennial water bodies that require a streamside management zone. Beaver ponds are also perennial water bodies even when they are found on intermittent streams. With beaver ponds, you also have the option of removing the dam and buffering the original stream channel. River bottoms often have a variety of sloughs, side channels, and other floodplain features. Most of these may be treated as intermittent streams, but some are perennial. Oxbow lakes and larger continuous side channels that connect to the river at both ends will usually require a buffer. Braided streams in the coastal plain have multiple interconnected channels and very low stream gradient. These specialized conditions are described in the supplemental BMPs for braided stream systems. Each run must be classified as major or minor based on an average maximum depth of 3 feet at bank full discharge. Since wind throw is a problem in these areas, all trees along minor runs should be cut. Major runs should have an undisturbed primary zone of 40 feet and an additional secondary zone of 40 feet where wind throw prone species are thinned out. South Carolina currently has 10 designated scenic rivers. Although standard BMPs are sufficient to be in compliance with all water quality laws, a 100 foot buffer is recommended on scenic rivers to protect the recreational value and scenic quality. On lakes and larger rivers where visual quality is a special concern, where heavy recreational uses such as boating and fishing are present, buffers of 75 to 100 feet should be considered. Landowners with a high priority on wildlife and recreation may desire larger buffers. BMP recommendations are the minimum necessary to provide reasonable protection of water quality. However, larger buffers provide additional benefits for wildlife. A buffer of 300 feet provides the equivalent of undisturbed riparian habitat. Make sure you know what the landowner wants and expects on their property and that any special buffer requirements are clearly marked on the sale map and on the ground. We highly recommend having a written contract that includes BMP compliance and any special requirements the landowner may have. Proper use of streamside management zones requires correctly identifying the stream type, maintaining the appropriate primary and secondary SMZs, and following BMPs on the entire site to minimize disturbance and impacts to water quality. You can find more details in the BMP manual and Breda Stream Supplement. And remember, local BMP foresters are always available to help you stay in compliance.